Hello, everybody, and thanks for joining this session. I'm going to start this presentation with a PowerPoint slideshow in about one minute. Of course, thank you, everybody, for joining today. And um, it's the first time that I do a large scale presentation with, with you, with your agency, with your company. And I couldn't be happier, actually, because I think your organization, the whole organization is terrific. I like this application. I like this interface very much. It's the first time for me using this uh, online seminar. I like it. It's really user friendly. You have lots of buttons to click. You have everything under control. So. Two minutes past 11 in Milan, Italy. I think we can start this presentation. So I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to take you to a presentation of IULM University in Milan. So screen share. Okay, you should be able now. Okay, you should be able now. I can see the screen share myself. Okay, that's right. So, here we go. So, welcome to IULM University. I will now take you to a sort of, well, it's a mix between a presentation and the virtual tour of the university. Um, I will now introduce the university first, starting from um, its heritage. So I will now give you a few information about the history of the university itself. IULM University was first established in 1968 and it was originally established as a university for foreign languages and interpreting. But since the very first years of the foundation, the university, despite its young age, because it is relatively young, if you think of it in comparison to other Italian universities with maybe medieval tradition, IULM was able to establish itself as a center of excellence, as a sort of benchmark for communication studies. So it was originally born as a private university for foreign languages and interpreting, but almost immediately after the foundation, it became the standard reference point in Italy for communication studies. And also for foreign languages, of course, tourism, hospitality and tourism management, and the promotion of cultural heritage and creative industries as well. So these are the subjects where our university excels both at national and international level, because we are very well known for these subjects also in Europe. The university is organized into three faculties, the Faculty of Communication, the Faculty of Interpreting and Translation, and the Faculty of Arts and Tourism. I told you that it's a private university. To be more specific, it's a private, not-for-profit university. What does this mean? It means that every year, all the tuition fee that we collect from the students is immediately reinvested in new courses, new degree courses, new facilities, and new services for the students. So that's the meaning of not-for-profit. We do not, so to say, stockpile the tuition fees from the students, we immediately reinvest them in new services. We are very famous in Italy for being a university with a strong relation with the job market, a very, very good placement, as you will see during this presentation. But we are also research oriented and we have many research projects being carried out in our research departments and laboratories. I'm going to give you a few numbers because I think it's also 
useful to have a look at the numbers of the university. We are not a very big university, we are not a huge university. We have nearly 7,000 students overall, so we are considered to be a specialized niche university, medium size. But as you can see on screen, we have a very, very good students to teaching staff ratio, actually one of the best in Italy. When it comes to the students' population, 20% of the students enrolled in degree courses held in English is international. And overall, we have an international population of about 5.5%. Of course, this number is increasing year by year, as our university does have a very international vocation, a very international dimension. We have seven buildings inside the campus. It's a 50,000 square meters campus with one dedicated subway station on the green line of the metro in Milan, just in front of the main gate of the university. You will see during this presentation that our university is nothing similar to other universities in Italy because we have an American style campus and all the buildings of the university are included in this 50,000 square meters campus. So it's really a unique case in Italy. You don't have to move from one place to the other in order to attend your courses. You can do that in just one area. 13 degree courses overall, 18 one-year master programs, two PhD programs, and as far as rankings are concerned, we are pretty well ranked, to be honest. We were ranked number one in Italy and number four in the European Union for engagement of the teaching staff, according to the Times Higher Education Teaching Rankings in 2019, so last year. And according to the National University Ranking of Italy in 2020, we were ranked number three in Italy among private mid-size universities, which is a pretty good result. We are based in Milan, southwest Milan, to be more precise, and of course our students are able to experience themselves the Italian lifestyle in a city which is inevitably the multicultural and financial capital of Italy. Of course, 2020 was a tough year because of the pandemic, because of the travel bans, all the restrictions. But I will show you during this presentation how is university life like in our campus and how we are working to go back to pre-COVID standards. So all the opportunities that you see on screen are opportunities that can be exploited by our international students while being in Milan. And of course, needless to say, Milan is in Lombardy. And Lombardy is constantly regarded as one of the richest regions in the European Union. For example, in 2018, Lombardy was ranked top 20 for GDP per capita according to Eurostat. So it's a very good place to stay, full of services, and most importantly, full of job opportunities for the students. As I've told you a minute ago, our university does have a true international dimension. Not only because we have 150 plus partner universities worldwide with bilateral agreements, but also because we are an Erasmus program city. And so our students are able to experience the Erasmus program which consists in spending a semester or an entire year abroad in a partner university. On top of that, we can also offer internship abroad programs to our students and thesis research abroad. But we are also very well known for career opportunities. 
our university is, well, how shall I say? There's, there's an old say in Italy that IULM University is the internship of Opportunity University because our internship service, our career office, is one of the best in Italy, maybe the best in Italy. We have more than 1,400 partner companies which are able to help us in finding research projects and learning projects for our students. We host a one startup incubator inside the campus and we are able to organize events with professionals and companies, so webinars and also in-person seminars with CEOs, CFOs, so very important people coming from the job market. We are also able to offer guidance to our students with a state-of-the-art counseling service, peer tutors for each and every degree course, so every degree program that we have at IULM has its own peer tutor, able to listen to students and help them with their problems. And we also have a wide range of services for disabled. Now, I'm gonna spend a few words about the Italian education system. I'm not gonna go in, into much details because I don't wanna bother you with bureaucracy and all the distinctions between one course and the other course, but just for your general information. At IULM, we are able to offer undergraduate programs, so the first level bachelor's degree. Then we can offer one-year master programs and also two-year graduate programs. So in the classical terms, it's the two-year master's degrees. We also have PhDs. Now, moving on towards the core of this presentation, I would like to spend also a few words about what we did, what IULM University did during the first phase of the COVID-19 crisis. Because I think it's, it's worth a mention. Of course, we are all now projected towards the future, we are looking forward to going back to our normal routines and, and, and go to the restaurant and attend courses in person. But as a matter of fact, when the COVID crisis outbreak, we were amongst the first universities in Northern Italy and also in Italy in general to switch immediately from in-presence lectures to online lectures within just a couple of days with, with absolutely nothing to, 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 to be left behind. So we were able to transfer all the activities and reach out to all students to tell them that the, the switch was going on. We immediately increased on-campus security with extra sanitation and all the information concerning the pandemic were immediately translated into English overnight. So really, again, no one was left behind. We were able to offer psychological counseling and mindfulness sessions to our students, and these services are still running today. We also organized a series of webinars on stress management and how to cope with distance learning techniques because it's not easy. Each and every one of us was forced to adapt to distance working and distance learning overnight, so it wasn't easy at all. And because community life is important, we were able to schedule students groups with virtual meetings. So this was the information about the past, but at this point of the presentation, maybe some of you may ask, okay, but what about tomorrow, Alberto? What's going on? Well, what I can tell you is that starting from this week, this very week, IULM campus reopened its gates again to students, and we welcome 
students back in the campus in a 50-50 modality. So 50% in presence, 50% from home, from distance, with um, sort of shifts between the two groups of students. One week in presence, one week from distance. So we are working, we are really working hard day and night in order to go back to normal life, normal routine next summer. And nowadays we are promoting our university to international students and we are telling them that September and October 2021 will be in presence. Now let's speed through the presentation and let's go in, inside, let's move to the uh, juicy part of the presentation, so the academic offer. At bachelor level, so the undergraduate level, we have this three years master's, uh, sorry, bachelor's degrees. As you can see on screen, we have a course which is completely held in English, that is corporate communication and public relations. Then we have six courses held in Italian language, interpreting and communication, communication, media, and advertising, tourism, management, and culture, arts, media, and cultural events, fashion, and creative industries. I'm going to spend a few words more on corporate communication and public relations, because I think it's, it's useful. CCPR, corporate communication and public relations, as we like to call it, it's a very important bachelor's degree. It actually, it is a milestone in Italy because it was the first course on public relations to be ever established in Italy. And its English version was, again, the first one to be launched in Italy. It's a three-year bachelor's degree with 180 ECTS, so credits, as you can see on screen, this course is really top level. It's very well known for the perfect balance in the teaching staff between professionals and members of the academia. So out of 59 teaching staff members, 29 are professionals and 30 come from the academia. And Mind you, 65% of graduates are able to find a job within one year from graduation. And this is actually one of the best results in the team. What you will get if you become a student is a solid preparation of economics and management. You will be able to evaluate the impact of media on, on social and cultural systems and you will become a highly specialized person with a deep knowledge in communication procedures and you will be also able to enhance your personal skills. That's what CCPR is all about. At master's degree level, so the, the graduate courses, we have two degree courses completely taught in English, which are strategic communication and hospitality and tourism management. Both of them are double degrees, which means that students have the chance to spend the second year of the master's degree in one of our partner universities. And at the end of the course, they get a double title, double degree one from IULM and an equivalent degree from the partner university. I will give you a few more information about these two programs in the following slides. Just for your information, we also have four courses held entirely in Italian language, which are sort of the natural continuation of the academic offer that we have at bachelor level. So we have specialized translation and conference interpreting, television, cinema, and new media, marketing, consumption, and communication, and art, valorization, and market. 
a few words more about the two master's degrees held in English, because it's worth mentioning, believe me. Let's start with strategic communication, which is really a unique program in the Italian landscape of master's degrees in communication studies. It's a two-year program with 120 ECTS credits. Why is it so good? Why this program is so good? Because it's able to give prospective students a real leading role in the communication function. So a person coming out of this program is really able to manage a internal and external communication team in a company or in a state body in the best way possible. Because our students, our graduate students, receive a state-of-the-art training. They are able to use big data and algorithms for communication. And what is really important also about this course is that strategic communication completely reverted the um, approach to a master's degree because it's practice first and then theory. So exactly the other way around. Not to mention the fact that we have a truly international faculty with professors coming from all over Europe. We have partnerships with international universities. Just to mention one, we have a partnership with Leeds Beckett University in the UK. And last but not least, we have an advisory board specifically appointed for this degree program, which is able to look into the study plan and make amendments, make modifications according to the needs of the job market. Think about it. A degree program with an internal advisory board able to modify the study plan every year according to the real needs of the job market. That's really, that's state of the art. In this slide, you see the companies where the members of the Internal Advisory Board for Strategic Communication come from. So as you can see, we are talking about huge players, big players. We got Vodafone, Rainbow, Ferrero, Eni, Lavazza, Samsung, you name it. These are the members of the Internal Advisory Board. Hospitality and Tourism Management. Again, another huge program. A two-year master's degree, again, 120 ECTS. It's a double degree because students have the possibility to spend the second year at UCF, University of Central Florida in Orlando. And it's a course where 60% of the faculty come from academia and 40% of the faculty come from the job market. So they are top managers from the tourism industry. Um, CEOs from Sheraton, um, you name it. So people coming from the tourism industry, the business, and they are able to train our graduate students face-to-face -face in small groups. It's a master's degree in truly in the most innovative area of tourism management because it also deals with sustainable tourism and also is able to train students in the use of digital technologies and big data in order to improve the services in the tourism industry. Now, as I've told you in one of the slides that we have seen before, we also offer one-year master programs. We call them one-year university masters or one-year professional masters. What's the difference between these programs and the two-year master's degrees? Well, first of all, of course, the duration of the programs, needless to say. And these programs, the one-year master programs, are 
more designed for a prospective student who is searching for a cutting edge uh, training towards the job market. So usually students who are maybe who are also already working or, or they are already running a business in their own choose these programs. While on the other hand, the two-year master programs are more um, academia oriented in some way. We have six programs entirely taught in English, communication for international relations, international communication, international tourism and hospitality, game design, international marketing and sales communication, museology, new media, and museum communication. Please notice that the two last courses of this list are executive programs, so they are specifically designed for people who already have a job experience. And in particular, the last one, Museology, New Media, Museum Communication, is entirely held online. Then we have a wide range of one-year master programs held in Italian language. Some of them are really unique in their field of study, just to mention a couple of them. For example, how about management of made in Italy, fashion design and luxury. This is actually a state of the art. Or also food and wine communication, how about that? That's really Italian life. Now let's move to the second part of this presentation and let's talk about admission requirements. For the three-year bachelor's degrees, we need a high school diploma with at least 12 years of schooling. This is the minimum requirement. As far as languages requirements are concerned, we ask prospective students to show a B2 level proficiency, both in Italian and English, depending on the course that they choose. For English language, we accept IELTS, 6.0 is okay, TOEFL, first certificate in English, Certificate of Advanced English, Certificate of Proficiency in English are also accepted. Uh, we do not accept the Pearson Academic English Assessment for the time being, just for your information. In case you don't have any certificate available, you don't need to worry because you still have the possibility to take the internal assessment test at IULM which can also be administered from distance. This is important. And it is based on the Oxford Academic English Assessment Test. As you can see on screen, the application process is very easy, very smooth. It takes no longer than 15 minutes, actually, to apply to our university. What you need to do is just have your documents ready, a scan copy of your documents ready, and submit your qualifications to apply.iulm.it, which is our official application platform. If you are eligible, you will take the admission test, which is computer-based and can be done from distance. If you pass the test, you will do an online enrollment directly on the website of the university. After that, IULM will send you the invitation letter and with that document you will go through the bureaucracy at the Italian consulate or embassy in your area. Very easy, very smooth, no hidden secrets. For two years master's degrees, the admission is pretty much the same the two big differences are also, well, of course, they are referred to the uh, title required. Because if you apply for a graduate program, you need to have a bachelor's degree in a field related to your chosen program. So you have to have at least the core subjects in common. 
and just for your information, cross major, so skipping from one major to another major in the master's degree is usually not allowed. So if you come from communication studies, you do communication studies. You, you cannot come from engineering and do communication studies normally. Of course, you need to show language proficiency in English or Italian, depending on the course that you choose. And another difference is related to the admission test, because the admission test can be a Skype or a Zoom live interview with the director of the degree program. So uh, there may be an interview, there may be some open questions to be uh, replied, also in written form. So this is another difference if compared to the bachelor level. But generally speaking, the overall application procedure is the same. So you just need to log on to the application platform, upload your qualifications, do the test, and if you pass the test, you go on with the bureaucracy. Another juicy slide for you, I'm sure you're interested about it, is the tuition fees. So how much does it cost becoming a student at IULM University? The answer is very simple. At undergraduate level, so the three-year bachelor's degrees, the tuition fee is 8,400 euros per year, divided into three installments. First installment is to be paid when the student completes the online enrollment. Second installment is due in December, and the third installment is due in March of the following year. For the two-year master's degrees, the tuition fee is 9,800 per year. Again, divided into three installments. I decided not to include the tuition fee for the one-year master programs in this slide, because the tuition fee for the one-year master programs may vary a lot according to the program that you choose. So if you are interested in a one-year master program, my suggestion is to contact our admission team and they will give you more information depending on the program that you are interested in. But we also have a wide choice, actually, of financial ed opportunities for talented students. The first one that I would like to introduce to you is the 50% tuition fee reduction on the first year of the tuition fee, which is based on merit. What does that mean? It means that if you are a prospective student coming out of high school and you are willing to apply for a bachelor's degree, if you have a high school final score of 70% or above, you may be eligible for a reduction. At the same time, if you are a graduate from a bachelor's degree in your country and you would like to apply for a master's degree, you may be eligible for a 50% reduction if your final grade from the bachelor is 70% or above. Please mind you that this 50% reduction doesn't apply to the one-year master programs. They have other financial opportunities which are separate and they depend on each and every program. We are also able to offer on-campus accommodation at a special rate of 280 euros per month to a limited number of students. The rooms are usually assigned according to merit criteria and they are subject to availability. So first come, first serve. And last but not least, international students are also welcome to apply for the regional scholarships, the so-called ESU scholarships, with grant up to 4,500 euros per year, in some cases including accommodation and free service, together with the refund of the first installment of the tuition fee. 
These scholarships are based on merit and income criteria and can be combined with the 50% mission fee reduction. I've told you at the beginning of this presentation about our campus, which is really an American style campus. Nothing you will see in other Italian universities. It's really a unique case. We are based 10 minutes away from Duomo and the city center by subway. We have three on-campus cafeterias, one public park inside the campus. Think about it, one public park inside the campus plenty of services for students, and really, every room or place that you need to visit is within walking distance. I'm going to show you some pictures. This is the main building, IULM Building 1. This is actually the place where I work. My office is at, at the fourth floor of this building. This is the Rose Garden, so it, it's a corner of the public park inside our campus. It's beautiful and it's in springtime is usually full of students, you know, chatting and preparing their exams in open air and hopefully without any restrictions in the upcoming seasons. This is the auditorium where all the big events of our ULM University take place. This is IULM Lounge inside IULM 6 building, a place where we usually organize important events and where we meet all the um, delegations from abroad. And this is the canteen. This is one of the three cafeterias that we had inside the campus. It's actually brand new, it was recently renovated, and students and teaching staff go there in order to have lunch. And this is one room from our dormitory. So this is the uh, sort of standard accommodation solution for the students who are able to win a place in our university residences. And this picture, this is probably my favorite picture of all, is the student life. So this is how our students are able to interact with each other, to work together. Uh, this picture was taken right before the COVID-19 crisis outbreak, but this is how it should look like when, when there are no problems, no restrictions. The students cooperate a lot and, and these are actually the classes. So the classes are like a, a laboratory. It's not a traditional lecture. The students are able to interact with, with professors and together with them in order to exchange ideas. So, this is the end of my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a tour in, inside IULM University. These are our contacts. If you want to reach out to us to ask for further information, you can drop an email, you can visit our official website, or you can also contact us using our official WhatsApp number for the admission office for prospective students. Thank you all. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Sure, I will, no doubt. In case I have questions for you, I will contact you myself. So thank you very much. Thank you again. I'm leaving the room. I'm leaving the webinar room now in, in a few seconds. And see you next time. Goodbye from a really freezing Milan. It's very cold today, but don't worry. You have a great evening. Bye-bye.